the sister's side, a non-Muslim sister? My name is Lakshmi. I'm a journalist. I have two questions. The first one is on the family planning. I was told uh, by another Muslim friend of mine that uh, you don't encourage family planning. Now I'm sure probably my grandmother's generation were more than happy to produce 10, 15 children. But uh, given the state of affairs today, I mean, how is it possible to put a stop if you don't have family planning? Now the second question is, Muslim men are allowed to marry four or five times, I think, and they don't uh, require their wife's permission, you know, the first wife's permission to marry, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, to marry more number of times. So I actually don't see any logic in this because I believe uh, it's one man, one woman, that's the institution of marriage. So please clarify. Thank you. Sister, there are two questions, very good questions, but long answers. First question is family planning, that she said the sister, in my grandmother's time, produce more children, good, but now the world is changing. Let's see whether your grandmother is right or you are right. Now in Islam, as far as family planning is concerned, family planning is a big word, but there's unanimous agreement that as far as permanent method is concerned, all the Islamic scholars everyone agreed that it is haram. Tubectomy, vasectomy, it's prohibited. Even abortion, it's prohibited unless it is to save the life of the mother. In that case, you can do permanent method, you can do abortion. For example, the doctor tells you that the lady has heart problem. And if she conceives again, it may be danger to her life. Or if she has multiple caesarean infection, three, four, five, one more child will be detrimental to health, then any method is permitted. So as far as permanent method is concerned, abortion is concerned, is unanimous agreement, it is haram because Quran says in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 151, that kill not your children for want of sustenance. For it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, almighty God, who will give sustenance to you and your children. The message repeated in Surah Isra chapter 17 verse number 31, kill not your children for want of sustenance, for it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, almighty God, who will give sustenance to you and your children. Now here we realize, based on this verse of the Quran, killing children is prohibited. Furthermore, as far as temporary method is concerned, I being a medical doctor, as far as contraception is concerned, the most common is the copper tea. And we learned in the medical college that it's a contraception. But we realize it's not a contraception, it's a contra-implantation. The ovum and the sperm has already met, they form the zygote, but it is a very early abortion. It's called as a contraception, the right technical word is contra-implantation. And if you let your imagination a bit ahead, it is nothing but an early abortion, so this too is prohibited. The difference of opinion as far as temporary method is concerned, but our beloved Prophet Muhammad one person approached the Prophet and said that he used to do early. That is coitus interruptus, breaking the act and preventing the fluid of the male to enter the female's body. The Prophet was silent. Now one group of scholars said because the Prophet was silent, he permitted. The other group of scholars said because he was silent, he prohibited. Difference of opinion, but let's get back to the main reason. So as far as copper tea is concerned, that too is prohibited. OC pills, oral contraceptive, it changes the physiology of the body. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Room, chapter number 30, verse number 30, do not change the physiology of the body. And I being a medical doctor, I know there are so many complications for that. Now, coming to the basic question, why should a person want to do family planning? Is a basic question. Let's treat the cause. You know, we as medical doctors, we prefer treating, killing the germs, rather than symptomatic treatment. One thing is symptomatic treatment. The other is knowing the cause and killing the cause. Now broadly, majorly, there can be two reasons why a person wants to do family planning. One can be because he's poor and poverty prevents him from looking after many children. The other reason may be he's rich, but having more children, more spacing, he can make them doctors, engineers, etc. Now coming to the first reason, that if a person is poor, Islam has the solution for poverty. Don't kill human beings. The solution is zakat. In Islam, one of the pillars of Islam is 
Every rich Muslim who has a saving of more than the Nisab level, more than 85 grams of gold, he or she should give 2.5% of that saving every lunar year in charity. If every rich human being gives a zakat, poverty will be eradicated from this world. There will not be a single human being who will die of hunger. So as far as poverty is there, the solution is zakat. It's not killing human beings. Now second reason may be, I'm rich, I've got money, but I want to make my son a doctor. I want to make an engineer. So I give spacing. Less children, I can take care of them better. Sister, I am the fifth child of my parents. If my parents would have done family planning, I wouldn't have been here today. And do you know, sister, I am a medical doctor. You know, because today's society, the best profession, they say, is medical doctor, right? So am I a boon or a bane for society? Sister, fifth child of my parents. If my parents were done family planning, I would have been here. But I gave up my profession of a doctor for a better profession that is spreading the truth. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Fusilah, chapter 41, verse number 33, وَمَنْ أَحَسُ نُقَالَ مِمَّنْ دَوَيْلَ اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحَوْنَ وَقَالَ إِنَّنِ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Who is better in speech than one who invites people to the Lord, to Almighty God? Works righteousness and faith, I am the one who submits my will to Almighty God. I chose to be a doctor because I thought it was the best profession. It is a good profession, I'm not against it. But I found a better profession. From a doctor of a body, I became a doctor of a soul. If I was a medical doctor, you wouldn't have found 10, 15,000 people here, right? You didn't come to hear a doctor of the body, you came to hear a doctor of a soul. So when I found a better profession, I changed from a doctor of a body to a doctor of a soul. So am I a boon or a bane for society? So it's a fallacy. As far as spacing is concerned, Almighty God has given a natural spacing known as lactation amenuria, breastfeeding. The moment you breastfeed, automatic there is spacing. But today's modern women, they don't want to breastfeed because they will lose their figure. Almighty God has given lactation amenuria. So now, there is a fallacy what people think. That if you have less children, you can educate them better. If you analyze and check the history of the Nobel Prize winners, all of them were not the single child. Many were second child, third child, fourth child, fifth child. They were Nobel Prize winners. They were intelligent. So it is a misunderstanding. That's the reason the Quran in Surah Anam chapter 6 verse 151 and Surah Isra chapter 17 verse 31, it sounds similar. The first verse, Surah Anam chapter 6, verse 151 says, Kill not your children for want of sustenance, for it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, who will give sustenance to you and your child. This verse is referring to the poor people. That if they have one more child, even I will die, and my children will die. The next verse of Surah Isra chapter 17, verse 31, the order is reversed. Kill not your children for want of sustenance, for it is Almighty God who will give sustenance to a child and you. Why is the order reversed? Second verse refers to the rich people. Don't worry. If he has more children, he will not die. He is worried about his children. So God says he will take care of his children as well as you. And now we realize, sister, that if you go to America, they encourage population. And the children wear a t-shirt. I am my father's tax saver. The more children you have, the less tax you pay. Same in Canada, same in Australia. In India, it's opposite. Ham do, hamare do. Ek ke baad abhi nahi, do ke baad kabhi nahi. It is a problem with Indian government. You know, China has the maximum population. India number two. Do you know, sister, today, the two superpower in future, which countries are they? China and India. Why? Because of population. So, grandmother is correct. The more population you have, the chances of the country to improve. China today is the country which is the maximum improving. And India is neck to neck fighting with China. So the difference of opinion, who will be superpower in the next 20 years? Some say India, some say China. Why? America has nowhere. Australia has nowhere. Canada has nowhere. So sister, population is a boon, it's not a bane. You should know how to utilize it.